it to the end of the day, guys. Um, grab whatever you have. Bed pillow, two pillows, bolster, couch cushion. I'm gonna start with my legs up against the wall, but if that's too intense, just put some sort of cushion underneath your legs. Um, I can just have that nearby. Huh. All right, and you don't have to be super close. You can also start legs wide, soles of the feet together. Always, what works for you? <laughs> Apparently it's a lot. All right, close your eyes. Put on your favorite spa music if you haven't already settled into this position. <laughs> I should have said that before. Anyway, deep breath in. <sighs> Sigh it out. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. One more, just like that. Deep breath in. Let it all go. With the eyes closed, or at least that feeling of softness through the eyes, you start to find that same feeling of release traveling through your face. So your jaw relaxing, lips parting. Even the throat feeling it's very open. And that feeling moves into your chest and your shoulders. And as you breathe in, you feel the space of the breath. And as you breathe out, the release, the letting go, you can get just a little bit heavier. And you feel that travel through your body. You feel that travel through your arms, through your fingers. moving down, just that release. All that your legs have done for you today. Feel them relax. And as you breathe in and you breathe out, your whole body from head to toe doesn't have to carry anything anymore. It's time to just nurture yourself with your breath. It's time to nurture yourself with gratitude. All that your body did for you today. for each breath, grateful for each heartbeat, grateful for every muscle in your body. And if you wanted to, this could be it. You could spend another 10, 15 minutes with the legs elevated, your body relaxed, your breath moving. I'm going to move this around just a little bit. Not quite ready yet though. <laughs> Five more big breaths.
Use your exhale to shed anything that is still lingering from today. A thought, a feeling. Begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Circle your wrist, circle your ankles. And then stretch the arms overhead and breathe into your whole self. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock out your back. And then I'm just going to scoot away from this wall a little bit. It should be very graceful. <laughs> All right. So move yourself into happy baby. Bringing the knees in, grabbing what works. So sacrum is on the ground. And if you can't quite reach the feet, what can you reach? And then keep hold of the right leg, foot, whatever you got there. Stretch out your left. There's a wall there. Use the wall. If you too are running into a wall, use it. Press your left heel into the wall as you pull the right knee to the outside of the rib cage. And just breathe. It's the same shape we've worked with if you took the breaks throughout the day. And then maybe you can stretch your right leg out a little bit, a lot, heel to the sky, toes to the floor. Breathe. And then bend it back. Bring the shin in. Circle the ankle around. Just breathe. Left leg comes in. Gentle rocks. Find your full happy baby. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper. Left leg stays, right leg presses. Maybe left leg stretches out. back in, bringing the shin in, circling the ankle. Left leg, right leg pulls in. Hold on to the kneecaps, keep your low back towards the ground, and then just push both knees away and start to circle here. And the knees are going in opposite directions, just moving up the hips. Three to five. Slow or fast, I'd go slower though. And switch it up, opposite direction. Work with your breath. And definitely keep your eyes closed. And hug the knees in. Soles of the feet come down to the ground. Press through the arms, press through the feet, and make sure the feet are at least as wide as your hips. Move into a bridge. Not a high one, just where your body is ready to go. Feel your feet actively press down, lift your hips up to the sky, so especially if you've been sitting all day. Breathe into the front of the hips. Three big breaths. One more inhale. Press stronger than the feet, lift the hips just a little bit higher as you exhale. Slowly roll down, arms come out to the sides, knees drop over to the right. If it's okay for your left knee, take your right foot on top of the left thigh and add a little bit of a gentle. It's not only pulling towards the floor a little bit, but it's almost like your foot is trying to press a little bit more towards the knee, like finding space, stretching out that left side, that left leg. 
Bring the shape back to center. So you still have the right foot over the left thigh and now hug the shape in. So you've got that number four stretch going on. Gently rock that side to side. Maybe the left leg stretches out. Now we take this shape, arms out like a T, let the number four cross over to the left. And then the right knee can move towards your left heel. Lots of space between the right armpit and the right hip. Can you move the hip away from the armpit? Bring the shape back to center, give it a hug. Unwind, actually don't. Make this deeper, cross the right leg over the left so it's like an X and now it's that upside down cow face. And you can get a little bit deeper by pulling the feet or the sides of the calves, but again, always mindful of the knees, that nothing weird no weird sensations, no pain. Rock it around a little bit. And now we'll release. Both legs up to the sky, circle out your ankles. It's <laughs> a lot of cracking. <laughs> From here again, hug knees in. Lower the soles of the feet down. Let's take another bridge. Press through the feet. And the feet don't have to be right next to the fingers, right? I've got space there. Press through the feet. Roll the low back down. Lift up. Maybe you feel a little bit more comfortable. Go just a little bit higher. Breathe in. Out. We've got three. Breathe in. Out. One more. Just be content to be here. Move slowly to find your breath, to feel your body. Slowly lower down. Arms out like a T, let the knees just dip to the right. Dip to the left. Dip to the right. And dip to the left. Stay the left, now the left foot can come to the outside of that right thigh. And it's a gentle pull towards the floor, but then also like you're pushing the foot towards the knee to find some more space. And use your hands. Can you move your hip away from the armpit? Can you place your hand on your rib and breathe into that space? It's helpful, right, to have something Breathe into, to know where your breath should be going. And then pull that back to center. Give it a pause, hug the shape in, and gently rock it out. I think I have switched up the order of this, but no big deal. Just breathe. Sole of the foot comes down to the ground. Whole shape moves over to the right. Ooh. Left knee pulls towards the right foot. If it's working for you. Breathe into the left side body. Shape comes in. Cross it over. Left leg crosses over the right. And both legs come up to the sky. Let it go. Hug the knees into the chest. Soles of the feet down to the ground. And 
then from here, we're going to use the pillows. So hug your knees in, roll over slowly to your side, and then press up. Grab your pillow, your bolster, and place it behind you. You could do this against the wall too. And then lower down onto it. Arms out like a T or closer in, even supported if this is too much. Soles of the feet coming together. Just breathe. the weight of your body be supported by your pillow, your bolster, the earth. If it's too much for the soles of the feet to be together, let them be straight out or even soles of the feet into the mat, letting the knees rest on each other. Let your mind move to the breath. listening to it, feeling it. Let your whole body for each breath, grateful for the space, grateful for yourself. Stay here as long as you can. See you some point at some point tomorrow. Hopefully. Have a fantastic night.